Hi there! Welcome back to Korean with Rose. Today we're going to talk about three important basic modifier in Korean. Let's get started. Today's words are 이, 저, and 그. 이. These three comes before the noun to point to people or things. What does this mean? Basically, E means this, Ta means that, Ku means the. Let's just move this to here and talk about some different sentences. So I know I'm bad at drawing, but just bear with me. It'll be helpful, hopefully. Um, cap. This is a cap. There's the speaker. And there's this bag, there's this listener, and there's this book. First of all, E is used when a person or a thing is close to the speaker. Then we use E. So we would say E cap, which is 모자. 모자. E 모자. We would say E 모자. For 저, 저 is used when the thing is far from the speaker. Then we would say 저 book, which is 책, 저 책, 저 책. And finally, 그 is used when it is close to the listener. So we will say ku bag. So ku kabang. Okay? So let's practice. There's this pencil case. There's the speaker. There's this listener and there's this pencil case. So this pencil case will be E because it's close to the speaker. Okay. 필통 For pencil case, it's 필통. So we will say if you want to say this pencil case is my pencil case, we will say E Pirtongen Te Pirtong Yeu. If there's this person who's called Mari, we would say Why? Because this 그 사람 is close to the listener. This person is close to the listener. So we say we use 그. 그 사람. So if I make a sentence, it would be 그 사람은 말이 
예요. Finally, bag again. What are we going to use here with bag? It would be 저 가방. Why? It's far from the speaker. So we just use 저. So if I make a sentence, 저 가방은 누구 가방 이에요? 누구 가방 이에요? 이에요 again. And this means whose bag is that bag? I hope you guys know what the difference between 이, 그, 저 and when to use them. I'll see you in the next video and hope you have a hope you guys have a good day. Bye!